Hey, Hershey girl. What you doing, babe? She's out here. I got Brandon's roommate's dog, Chief, the Siberian. And then Sadie. Sadie. No. And then Brandon's dog. And then Emmy. So I've had five dogs in the house the last two days. Brandon's camping up in Tennessee with a couple of buddies and his roommates up in Ohio for a wedding. This guy's cool. You know, he's a little spastic, but so is Sadie, so they get along pretty good. Uh, so what I'm doing today is this, the oil pump. It's a high volume piece from uh, Melling M68HV. I took these out because I wanted to, uh, I can't leave well enough alone. So I had to uh, mess with this in here. So what I'm gonna do, maybe I can get this swap. Show you a little better look inside here. See all that in there? All that casting flash and whatever. I'll try to smooth that out. The only thing is I gotta make sure not to knock that little bump right there. Because that is what this piston here there we go. Bottoms out on. So if I knock it out of the way, this is going to go in further. And it's not going to have <clears throat> the pressure it would normally have. So, uh, <laughs> I got... Emmy does not tolerate Chief very well. And Chief likes to aggravate her because she gets riled up. She needs... I got to get her to the groomer. She's looking like a little homeless dog. They've been doing that like nonstop since uh, Brandon brought him over here Thursday night. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> and I didn't do a real good job the other day when I said I dumped the used oil. It goes into that. It's just a five quart mobile one uh, container. Sometimes I ain't paying attention. I get to talk and I don't realize they ain't even got the on the uh, camera focused on the item I'm talking about. So anyway, we're going to get started on that and I will show you what it looks like when I get her wrapped up. Alright guys, so this is the oil pump after I... Maybe this will work out here. You see what I did in there. Just got rid of that casting flash. Made that turn right in there a little better for the oil to come out to increase the size of anything it's hot it's like 90 degrees and 70 percent humidity but this is florida and it's june uh this is the oil pump drive shaft i'm going to use it's arp it's one i had um just a note if you need to buy one they do carry them on rock auto they have a uh, arp and Melian or Milodon, I think. They show a picture. It looks suspiciously, suspiciously like an ARP. And they're competitive with Summit, so you don't have to make a special order with Summit. You can get get them at, uh, like I said, Rock Auto if you got an order going on there. Save a little loot. These are the heads. Just some ported Explorers trash I'm working on. The valves. I forgot I had these. Uh, I think I got these from Rodney at one point gave me something for them and then the exhaust valve or milodons again i think i got them from rod so i i knew i had those i forgot about these and then uh they don't even have it's just got like a single angle on it so i might have to chuck them in in the uh drill press and put a little polish on them with the or not polish but put another angle on there with the angle grinder uh, so these I got from A1 Racing Products. They carried them on eBay, but I was a little skeptical of getting like a legit product. I was worried about getting a counterfeit. So I think 
I think it was like 130 bucks. These guys, really good uh, service. I, I just came up in a search, and I had fat fingered my uh, order, so I texted them or uh, sent them an email right away the next morning. <clears throat> and within half an hour, they replied, so they'll get it fixed, get me the right ones on or on right and route, I should say. And uh, so I ordered them uh, Friday morning. They showed up. Or no, I ordered them Wednesday. They showed up yesterday. Came from uh, Pennsylvania or Michigan, one of the two. But it's just another option. Like I said, I didn't want to get them on eBay and get some counterfeit stuff. Uh, I didn't have any stock, any good stock ones, so I went ahead and got those. And it's a good option. I mean, instead of, you know, you buy, you get these heads out of a junkyard, you don't want to pay for a valve job, you can get a new set of all new valves for like 200 bucks, and it'll pick up a little flow. So, like I said, that's an option. These, I'm just going, uh, going back and forth, making sure all the dimensions are as uh, dimensionally the same as I can make them. That's the exhaust port. It's just not much taken out, mostly on the floor. And then uh, just going a little polish, you know, trying to make it uh, consistent on, on all of them. So they're all the same. That's the objective. Oh, and one other thing this morning, before anybody got up, I took the head bolts, washed them, and then I put the uh, 7 16th uh, 14 die in the, the vice grip, put the little uggy duggy on the bolt, and spun it through both a couple of times, made sure all the threads are cleared, Then I'll do the same thing on the block with a tap, and then, uh, of course, get oil on these when I go to torque them in. Just to write, make sure there's no boogers in the holes or the threads ain't boogered up on the bolts. These are used, you can tell. See that guy right there? It's got a little bit of corrosion on it. You get the bolts that are threaded all the way up. Those are uh, only supposed to be used one time. These you can reuse. I mean, it didn't seem uh, worthwhile to me to use uh, like ARP bolts. I know I've got a couple of sets of those laying around but I'm not going to use them on this it's only barely nine and a half to one compression ain't no point in it so that's what I'm doing I'll keep these these will be used on something else I said I did clean this one up that's when I saw it, it had the one angle so I'm gonna get back at it get these try to get the heads uh, done today all right appreciate y'all later so fellas um as you can tell it's kind of hot down here it's like uh 87 degrees and 81 percent humidity so it feels like 97 which is pretty awesome it's actually cooled down from this morning at four it was uh i think it said it felt like 99 or 100 which you know when you walk outside <laughs> you leave the nice air-conditioned house you step outside and the shit just like boom, engulfs you yeah, it's pretty awesome. So we've had a couple thunderstorms roll through this morning. Uh, but the reason I'm making this video, uh, <clears throat> I was, I think, the first two parts of this, I was working on the heads for the uh, the lightning truck, or lightning, nightning, uh, the night. And, of course, I couldn't leave well enough alone, so I dinged the, uh, a couple of valve seats on the with a carbide. So I took them back up to the machine shop yesterday to have them touch those up. I'm supposed to pick them up tomorrow. So in the meantime, tonight, I figured I'll pull the red car in, which is what the my little uh, tripod's sitting on, and I can get started on that. Well, Vincent was out for a walk. Uh, Alice was busy uh, putting stuff in the dishwasher and stuff. I said, well, I don't bother her. I'll just use the lawnmower, pull it inside. So I got it almost all the way into the garage and the uh the chain come off the hook and the mower so the red car rolls down the hill actually i can probably show you and it's probably better to see it from the front anyway so you can see 
um, Alice's parking job. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, so... Wait, let me do it this way. Quality production right here. So the red car rolls down the hill, hits the Capri, knocks it over its blocks, and it goes across the road, missed the neighbor's mailbox by like a foot and a half, and then stops in his driveway the whole time. And then I got in, managed to dive into the window of the red car and hit the e-brake just before it hit that little uh, bush there. So I'm standing there kind of helpless watching the... Uh, Capri go across the road hoping it does not hit uh, one of the neighbor's cars because that uh, Durango is a unmarked car cop car wouldn't be good to try to explain that so luckily it stopped when I got in the in that little trough for the curb and then uh, so then I went in and got Alice to help me pull the red car in the garage and that's the parking job bless her heart I was I was on the lawnmower telling her to turn it to the right and she turns it you know I said no the other right anyway it's in here I can I can put the jack underneath it and get it situated a little bit better I just got to jack up the back end really to get the uh, tank out and stuff so that's where it's at I've uh, I've had enough fun for tonight uh, I'm done for so, after all this fun in the last hour and a half i'll probably just go and take a shower and call it a night but tomorrow i'm getting the heads and start working on this get the fuel pump out swapped and then uh get back on the night uh whenever after i get this done and that'll be probably this weekend and then uh maybe get the engine wrapped up and then try to get the pickup in here to get the engine out so I can get started on that it's been a uh, slow going the last few weeks so hopefully I can start making some progress shedding some pounds out here it is hot but anyway this is Florida and it's June almost July so we'll catch you on the next uh, clip or whenever that is later fellas appreciate you